China is developing a mosquito radar. Chinese scientists are working on new radar technology to track mosquitoes. According to the South China Morning Post, the radar emits electromagnetic waves on many frequencies. The device reportedly uses technology from China's missile defense system. When these electromagnetic waves come in contact with the insect, they are bounced back toward the radar with data on the mosquito. This information reportedly includes what species a mosquito belongs to, as well as its gender, flight speed, and direction. Another researcher unassociated with the project explained it may be more difficult to detect a mosquito than an F-22. This is because the differences in structure and movements. Background noise may also make it difficult to track mosquitoes via radar. Like them or love them, they're here to stay. This will make your skin crawl. Periplanta Americana, the American cockroach. These pests can be found in sewers, walls, beds, floors, cereals, and all sorts of nooks and crannies. And going by a video from electronic repair experts Tronics Fix, they also nest inside PlayStation 4s. According to Gizmodo, who spoke to several repairmen about the problem, it's more common than you'd expect. And before all you PS4 haters begin your trolling, it's worth mentioning cockroaches have been found in other consoles as well, okay? But the PS4 is apparently choice accommodation, as the vents are ideally located for the bugs to come and go as they please. The power supply is warm enough to keep the bugs feeling toasty. They do eventually get zapped by the inner workings of Sony's console, but then their corpses and poop melt into the hardware. Apparently, the roaches nest, grow up, poop, mate, have babies, which then themselves all grow up and mate and have babies and poop. And this insect orgy poop and death cycle goes on and on until your PS4 just can't take the horror anymore and taps out. What's worse is that Sony reportedly won't repair bug-ridden PS4s, but several independent repairmen like Tronics Fix will. Just call a professional. This is what happens when you mix alcohol, fire, bed bugs, and a multifamily unit. An unidentified woman reportedly thought it was wise to try and exterminate bed bugs with alcohol near an open flame last Friday night in Cincinnati. The blaze put three people in hospital and displaced 10 residents from the building. Total damage for the fire was reported to be almost a quarter of a million bucks. Building resident Cameron Leish live-streamed the blaze on Facebook. He said he and his two brothers lost everything. Reportedly, this is the second time in two weeks that a Cincinnati resident has gone up in flames while someone was trying to kill bedbugs. Local fire chief Randy Friel gave profound advice for dealing with bedbugs, and that's get a professional. <laughs> Study shows 76% drop in flying bug populations. Bugs, while icky, are critical to nature and new research indicates they might be in decline. The research looked at the biomass of flying insects inside 63 German nature reserves. It found that between 1989 and 2016, the reserve's total flying insect population had declined by an average of 76%. The cause of the massive drop is unclear, but the fact the insects vanished at such a high rate has scientists concerned. The researchers say their findings could be representative of other areas around the world. Nature needs bugs, and we need nature. And if there's no nature, well, the planet becomes Mars 2.0. U.S. cities experiencing influx of new residents. Bed bugs. Everything is on the up and up in the U.S. You can't deny that. The numbers coming out of the bed bug sector are especially strong and should continue to climb. Baltimore has ranked number one on Oregon's annual Top 50 Bed Bug Cities list for a second straight year. Baltimore was followed by Washington, Chicago, Los Angeles, and Columbus. Bed bug numbers were reduced after World War II, but have since made a comeback due to increased traveling, regulatory restrictions on insecticides such as DDT, and tolerance to organic pesticides. One research firm found that the bed bug control industry was worth around 611.2 million U.S. dollars in 2016, with some analysts estimating industry revenue could hit 1 billion in five years. According to one report, hotels spend on average $6,383 per bed bug incident, which includes the replacement cost for soft goods, treatment, and lost business.